Hey guys, welcome back to Dipswitch Demos. My name is Jackson and today I'm going to run through my uh, current pedal board, my current main pedal board. Um, this seems to be something that I've decided to do every six months or so. Um, so, time to do another one. And you guessed it, there's another pretty big change to the board. So for about a year or so, up until, up until about June or so, I was using a switcher system, a pretty basic switcher. Um, just had six loops, but essentially my board was controlled by this six loop switching system. And it was great, um, solved a lot of problems for me, um, but inevitably it caused some problems as well. I was running a lot more cable. Um, it actually ended up being more difficult for me to swap and change stuff, which is pretty important for me. Um, and yeah, I just kind of lost, it was less fun for some reason. I don't know if that's just stupid mental stuff, but it was less fun, um, you know, pressing buttons on a switcher than it is pressing buttons on an actual pedal. That's probably stupid. Um, but essentially, yeah, I decided to ditch the switcher, cram everything on the top of the board and literally go old school and go in and out of every pedal. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's probably the most fun pedal board I've ha ever had. Um, there's some really fun things on here and also it's probably not the most sonically pure pedal board because I'm going in and out of every pedal and um, probably I'm losing some signal and stuff but there seems to be some buffered pedals placed um, throughout the chain so it's not too bad really. Um, I have a bead going into the board versus going straight into the front end of the amp and it's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, Main thing is, is this is just a fun pedal board now. Um, hopefully you can see it on the cam. Um, usually how I do these board updates is I give you a quick run through of the signal chain, so that's what I'll do if I can remember what's, how it's going. Um, yeah, okay, I can remember. So first is the tuner. So we're going into the uh, Wazacraft tuner. It's a good tuner. It tunes my guitar. Um, so that's, I'm fine with that. Then into the Thorpey Veteran, which has been on the board for a long time now. I really enjoy that fuzz. And the secret ingredient of that pedal is the treble booster. That treble booster works so well pushing other drive pedals. It just sounds sweet. Um, after the Thorpey, we're going into a new addition, which is the Mythos Argo. Um, really sweet octave up fuzz pedal. Like I said in the demo, I think I said in the demo, it's an instant gurn face. Um, I just love that pedal. Sounds sick. Sounds sick with the Bonsai, uh, which we'll get into in a minute. But those two together are an awesome combo. After the Argo, we're going into the Cali 76 compressor. Again, been on the board for ages. Need a compressor. Well, I don't need anything, but the compressor really helps um, with some parts of playing. I guess I just I guess I just like it, so it's there. And then into, after the Cali 76, we're going into the broadcast. Again, been on there a long time. Love that pedal. Probably will always be on a pedal board of mine because because it just sounds great and it sounds good. There you go. Full stop. It sounds good. After the broadcast, where are we going? We are going into the bonsai. So all the way from the broadcast into the bonsai. New pedal for me, uh, my, I think my first JHS pedal as well, and I'm really enjoying it. Like I said in the demo of that, bonded with it instantly. Uh, that is kind of the only overdrive on there at the moment, um, and it's pulling its weight very well. So, Bonsai, and then into the Clan or the Clone. I don't actually, it's a, the Ryra Clone. Um, love that pedal, love Clan style things. That's basically my solo boost, um, so set up pretty clean. After the clone we're going into the chase bliss mood which is probably my favorite pedal at the moment it's absolutely ridiculous and nobody needs that pedal but at the, at the same time everybody needs that pedal um, does weird things it's good for me at the moment because i'm not gigging so much so it's good for me to kind of have that pedal to create sounds on my own because i'm lonely so that's great. After that, we're going into the vibrato, which is probably my favorite modulation pedal of the whole Wazacraft range. Um, just sounds great, sounds lo-fi, sounds old school. I'm a fan of it. And then from the vibrato, we go into the Empress Echo System in the corner. Again, been on the board a long time. It's my do-everything delay pedal. 
Um, even though at the moment I'm probably only using one sound in it, um, I like it, it's good and it sounds great and I like having the option of doing more stuff. Then into the Gravitas tremolo, been on there a long time, I love that tremolo, really in-depth tremolo as well. Um, and then finally into the Atmosphere from Dr. Scientist. Um, sounds great, sounds great when I want to go crazy ethereal reverberations. So let's go through some tones. Uh, Music Man, I was about to say Music Man Cutlass, Music Man Valentine into the Victory V40 setup, how I always set it up. So pretty clean with a little bit of reverb. Um, clean sound sounds like this. <laughs> Thorpey Veteran. So this is the fuzz side. Uh, thick sounding, I very rarely combine the two. Um, so here's the treble booster. Very rarely use that on its own, but like I said before, I use it all the time stacking in front of other drives. So that's that. Um, then we have the Argo from Mythos Pedals. Freaking love this pedal. Um, like I said before, that sounds killer into the Bonsai, so I'll show you that. Uh, mythos on its own. Bonsai with it. Yep, no complaints there. After the Mythos, it is the Kali 76. Just a compressor. Sounds good, sounds fine, I like it a lot. Then into the broadcast. Sweet, um, very rarely use the high gain side on that, um, but I guess I'll show it to you anyway. Okay, that's that. Um, where was it after the broadcast? Into the, yeah, the bonsai, so. Already showed you what the bonsai sounds like with the Argo. I'll show you what it sounds like with the uh, treble booster from the Thorpey. Great, I accidentally kicked on the clun there, um, which kind of gets into an issue which I'll talk about afterwards. Um, but the clun, just my solo boost, sometimes I leave it on all the time because it sounds so sweet. Oh mate, I'm messing that chord up so much today. Um, yeah, so solo, not yet, yeah, it's the clon thing. Then we go into my favorite pedal at the moment, which is the uh, Mood. I guess I'll just show you briefly what it does, but we could be here for hours. Um, so reverb on one side. Kind of, the weird thing with this pedal is that I don't have it set up in any way, so it's kind of always, um, always just kind of on the fly sort of thing, and then... Yep, uh, that's 
that. And then into the vibrato thing. So really subtly. That's still probably a little uh, too depthy for me, but just I just like that pedal. Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, then in, into the delay, like I said, I'm kind of using one sound in it, um, which is this. So I'm not really using its potential at all. If I want to slap, I'll just tap in a slap. So that's kind of it with the echo. Um, if I want something a little crazier, I will use the new um, preset, which I think is the Echo Rec thing. So it's like a multi-head thing. And sometimes if I want more delay, I'll use that. Yeah, uh, just sounds really, really good. The audio quality on that pedal is unreal in my opinion. Um, then we're going to tremolo, again set up really simply and subtly. Yep, and finally the atmosphere which I I think I usually have set up as like a really dirty spring, a really lo-fi dirty spring, uh, pretty dark as well. Um, let's see if it's actually set up how I want it to be. Yeah, so that's kind of, and I always stack it on top of what's already in the amp. Ideally, I'd like to be able to turn the amp reverb off every time I turn it on, but I just can't, so I don't. So apologies that I kind of ran through it really quickly. A lot of my other pedal board videos are really long and even I got bored watching them. So I've tried to keep this short and snappy and stuff. That's the board, like I said, it's probably the most fun board I've got or I've ever had. It's pretty unpractical though. If I was actually gigging, I'd either have to slim down what's on there or get a bigger board. Knowing me, I'd probably just get a bigger board uh, because I really like what's on there at the moment. Um, but I'm not gigging so much at the moment, so having it all crammed on like this isn't too bad. Um, I need to sort that out though. I need, to, but it's cool. I enjoy it. Um, like I said, most of the time it's just me messing about with stuff, either tap dancing on a chair or something, or even using my hands. So some of these buttons that are really close together, it's not so big a deal. Um, but like I said, I'm happy I ditched the switcher. Um, maybe when I'm more mature in life, I would might go back to the switcher thing. Um, or if I've got a proper gig set up with a set list with um, kind of specific parts, I would probably set up a nice switching system, but I don't, so this is it at the moment and I enjoy it. So, thanks for checking out the video guys. Please subscribe if you like what you saw and check out some more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.